We begin with that attack on an EMT. Police say the patient suddenly pulled out a knife and stabbed her several times. He is now facing criminal charges. Let's get right out to CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live outside the hospital in Morningside Heights. Natalie. Well, Mary, that's right. The EMT was treating a patient and then she became the patient. Now, the latest update from police, she is in serious but stable condition. This stabbing happened outside of Mount Sinai West. She was then transferred here to Mount Sinai Morningside, where we are told she's recovering. In a show of support, hospital workers applauded an EMT worker being pushed on a stretcher after police say she was stabbed by a patient she was treating Tuesday night around 9 p.m. I saw the ambulance right there. It stopped right there, but it was suddenly. And I saw uh, the door open and someone was running to the emergency room. Police say the ambulance was pulling up to Mount Sinai West near West 59th Street and 9th Avenue when suddenly a patient pulled out a knife and started stabbing the EMT multiple times in the stomach and leg inside the ambulance. I saw the lady was on the floor and then some of the workers went inside of the ambulance and there's a guy inside. Somebody was saying, oh, he got a knife, he got a knife. Police took the patient, 48-year-old Rudy Garcia of the Bronx, into custody at the scene. They described him as emotionally unhinged. He now faces several charges, including assault. We do transport a lot of uh, patients that are having mental issues, um, and we are not trained or protected. This paramedic also works at Mount Sinai West under the same union as the injured EMT and says it can be a dangerous job. Me, myself, two years ago, I got chased by an axe. So we have an extremely difficult time in just handling with the call volume and handling these assignments on our own. Especially because they work in pairs, one driving, often only one EMT treating the patient alone. At the time of transport, one person is in the back with the patient and the other person is driving the vehicle. Now, New York state law states that assaulting an EMT worker is a felony. It's punishable by up to seven years behind bars. In Morningside Heights, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.